character of our story that we're reading about in this chapter is what? He's a, he's a normal boy. Jeffrey. He's, he's quite, yep. Jet, named after the jet, but added the extra T for trouble, because um, he's he causes a lot of trouble. Fertilizer hit fan. All right. Finally, three hours in, we get there. I look around for the trappings of a vacation hotspot: palm trees, towering water slides, gleaming hotel buildings. Nothing. There's a small sign by the main entrance, the Oasis of Mind and Body Wellness. I turn to Matt. Wellness? This is the place, he confirms, your dad set up the whole thing. How do I even describe it? A lot of words come to mind. None of them resort. It's decently large, surrounded by woods with small, neat cottages dotted all over the property. There are a few bigger buildings, too, but none higher than a single story. It isn't a dump. Nothing is falling apart, and it's all fleshy painted and well-maintained. It isn't totally unfun. There's a pool, at least, the kind any crummy motel would have. No water slides or anything cool like that. There are people on bikes and, in the distance, kayaking and pedal boating on a lake. What can I say? It's sort of okay. But it's definitely not the kind of high-end destination where you can get your own chef. My father picked this place? No way. The driver takes us to the welcome center so we can check in. I tug on Matt's arm. I don't get it. Why would Vlad send me clear across the country and hours into the wilderness to a place that doesn't have anything half as good as the stuff at our own house? Take it easy. And what's this whole wellness thing? I'm not sick. We're all sick comes a rich female voice, smooth as melted caramel from behind the counter. In fact, the moment we're born, we immediately begin dying. What? Picture the most intimidating woman you've ever seen, like a supermodel on the body of one of those female wrestlers in WWE. The figure who stands up from her chair must be like six foot four, yet she carries herself with a cat-like ease and grace. She has huge pale gray eyes that are close to silver. Her hair is almost silver too. What there is of it. It's clothes cropped. I swear it's shorter than mine. It's, I'm so tempted to stare at her that I have to look away. Uh, hi, Matt says, clearly thrown. I'm Matt Luganis, and this is Jeff Aronoff, checking in. I envy you, the lady informs us that almost in that almost musical tone. No part of the journey is ever quite as eye-opening as the first step. I'm Ivory Novus. I'm in charge of meditation here. Meditation, I echo. This is the oasis of mind and body wellness. We heal the body through diet and exercise. The mind, on the other hand, is a more complicated instrument. The valves of a trumpet can be oiled. Only meditation can tune the mind. Huh? I've heard of math teachers and English teachers, I tell her. But meditation teachers? That's a new one. Here at the oasis, we say... Pathfinder, not teacher. I cannot plant information inside your head. I can merely show you the path to understanding. Every time Ivory Novus opens her mouth, a lot of serious weirdness comes out. I blurt, you know that waiting list? Is it to get in or get out? Ivory laughs, then holds out her hand. Matt moves to shake it, but that's not what she has in mind. Your phones, gentlemen, she tells us. A great fear clutches at my heart. What about them? You have to turn them in. Ivory explains that like it's the most obvious thing in the world. It's the one strict rule at the Oasis. No electronics. On the path to wellness, the only screen you need is the vast blank slate of your imagination. I'm psyched. Finally, we come to a part where Matt tells this Wonder Woman on steroids where she can stick her Oasis. So it's a blow when I see him hand over his beloved Fuego phone like it's nothing. You knew about this? I accuse him. He gr nods grimly. So did your father. That's when it dawns on me. Vlad didn't send me here to lend lie low. He sent me here for revenge just because he had to pay back the Air Force for scrambling those fighter planes. Matt shakes his head solemnly. Your father loves you. 
He sent you here because you need this. Silicon Valley, Valley's number one spoiled brat that looks cute in a magazine. But these stunts of yours are getting out of hand. What if a piece of that drone had gone through somebody's skull instead of just their windshield? One of these days, you're going to do something that your father can't buy you out of. He's trying to save your life, Jet, and so am I. And he plucks my phone out of my pocket and hands it to Miss Meditation. I fold my arms across my chest. I'm not staying.